are sorry, but there is only one product that can actually repair split ends, and that is What's good, everybody? I am your main girl, Mel. I'm a hair nerd, curlier specialist, and educator. And it is time that we get nitty gritty and even scientific about what hair damage we can be reversing. Bring it back now, y'all. That is, if you can, bring it back. Is it worth you investing in strengthening and bonding masks? Because on one hand, you could be someone whose hair is very healthy, and at that point, if it's not broke, don't split it. Or you could be at the point where you're just gonna have to snip it. Which if you really don't wanna do, I'm here to meet you in the middle to see what we can do. Now without further ado, for this video, Twist by Weed Dad has partnered up with me because they recently released their Strength in the Bond Hair Bonding Hair Mask. They actually released it about a month ago and I've been testing it for even longer than that. And I am ready to bring the facts plus my thoughts and full review while I explain to you if you may be someone that's going to benefit from using bond building and repairing hair masks, ultimately answering the question, can you repair hair damage and split ends? All this coming up next, let's split into it. So to give a little bit of background, when Twist first messaged me about this new release, I thought, oh, another bonding product. No, really, I thought, oh, another bonding product. Because most of the products that are already available cost more than your insurance. Which, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing because you can consider bonding products to be like insurance for your hair. So, you know, it's worth the investment, but only if they're going to work. All of Twist hair products are under $15, which makes them very affordable, accessible, because they're available at Walmart, Target, online right now on their website. They're having 20% off because it's their birthday anniversary. The link for that website will be in my description box below. That being said, you could question if cheaper affects the quality. And my skepticism came from the fact that there's a lot of brands now that have just slapped the bonding name on their products when there's no actual factual to back up that it is bond repairing in the hair. So I did my research to make sure that they did their research and it went a little something like this. <laughs> Moisture resistance. I'm sorry, she doesn't usually act like this. Don't you dare make me lock you in your tower! No! I'm just trying to do black terror. TerraBond. TerraBond is the patent pending technology by Actera that is used in the Twist Strength in the Bond hair mask. It works in part by repairing the keratin bonds in the hair to better repel moisture. Healthy hair naturally does this by your cute tickle. Tickle? Your cuticle. It acts as that barrier against external aggressors such as water, wind, earth, fire. Scuddy's up. Scotty's on fire! Especially water penetration. However, the longer, longer your hair is on your head, your cuticle degrades and erodes and crumbles. Or more accurately, flakes. Like in a windstorm when your shingles blow off of your roof. There is less protection and there's gonna be a couple leaks. But this doesn't just happen from the wind, it also happens from solar degradation. Those UV rays, okay? As well as regular brushing. It feels good, but it doesn't. So now you have these damaged eroding cuticles, which means higher hair porosity, meaning rougher, drier, duller looking strands, which you may have seen on your own hands. I know I have. But let's take a look at what's happening underneath. The inner layers of your hair, such as the cortex, are left without supervision. They're left vulnerable and begin to spiral. <gasps> or I should say unspiral. What? Literally, because the proteins in our hair are these long, coiled, and complex polypeptide chains made up of amino acids. So, so sciencey. What does this mean for you and me? Right, well, the phenomenon of split ends happens when the cells of the cortex that I remember, they're kind of shaped all like spirals and coils, they begin to unravel, so to speak, as a result of the erosion of your cuticle. 
Boo, Tickle! That all being said that you can see, those unrivaled polypeptide chains made up of amino acids claim to be rebonded in a reactive system by TerraBond that brings those amino acids and keratin fibers back together in a covalent bond, which is a very strong bond, and should kind of multiply those bonds, including the disulfide bonds in your hair, to keep them all together. So basically, it's claiming to come in there and help strengthen and repair those bonds. So they consider themselves a high-performing plex bond multiplier. The main active ingredients are kind of interesting because they're nothing like the diglycols or PEG ingredients that we're used to seeing on these types of products. The main kind of active ingredients and the ones that you will be able to read on your ingredient list are aspergillus ferment and arginine. Arginine? It's one of those things. Both of those things are the NC name for Terabond. So all of that with the covalent bonding and such, it should reduce hair breakage. So I tested it on my hair that was extremely low elasticity and literally snapping and it went something like this. I would use the mask after shampooing. The product is fragranced with notes of fig, bergamot, and coconut. It's very sensual and cozy. And it has a thick buttery cream texture and it looks shiny and feels silky but due to its thickness when using products like this i personally prefer to use it on hair that has already been detangled that way it's easier to distribute without using too much because you can't waste the goods but also because a little goes a long way this rich formula is part of the twist ultimate moisture collection and it is enriched with key ingredients like black castor oil glycerin caprylic triglycerides mango seed butter polyquaternarium 7, and of course, TerraBond. I keep the mask on for five minutes before rinsing, and while it is very thick and buttery, my hair isn't left with a residue or feeling weighed down, but much stronger than my previously breaking strands. So here we are after a month and a half of testing. My hair has definitely felt significantly better every time I've used the product. It's held its own. You really have, man. You've, you've held your own. This is actually my day five hair from uh, that wash day you just saw. And I mean, my curls feel soft. They're not breaking. They are much stronger. And they're not as fragile or dry or breaking. So that's good. I can say for me, it has definitely helped with strengthening. And I would say it is a good treatment to use if you are experiencing cuticle loss slash erosion and breakage. But when it comes to splitting, splitting, of your strands. When your ends are splitting, that is the end of your ends, even for me. So all that being said, while this can help prevent breakage and the worsening of your hair's condition, that's just it. It's going to help prevent the accumulation of split ends rather than actually repair split ends. Now that you've learned how it works and you've heard my testimony and seen my results, is this something that you think you will use? I think for hair treatment that's under $15, this is not only a really economical bonding treatment for your hair, but it is also efficient as it only really needs to sit on your hair for five minutes and not much longer, and is proven to be efficient. It's got the trials to back it up, including my own. So this gets my stamp of approval if you want to go ahead and try it, or if you're looking for alternatives to prevent hair damage then you know, just try your best to avoid unnecessary hair damage from excessive brushing, elaborate hairstyles that require a lot of pulling and tugging, and focus on your regular haircuts, and to learn how to do your very own stainless steel treatment. I encourage you to check out my no haircut haircut. It's a dusting tutorial so you can take care of your split ends in between salon appointments and just stay on top of them before they worsen. And in that video, you can also learn how often you should be trimming your split ends depending on what your hair texture is like. And also regular use of UV protection products, shampooing and conditioning afterwards, and oils and serums to seal. You can add all of those on your list of things to do. And if you want to add this new product to your twist shopping list, make sure that you do use that code CELEBRATE on their website. The link for that website will be in my description box below. Tap through now and don't be late because this promotion is only on for a limited time. I do want to thank Twist again for partnering with me and allowing me to get nitty gritty and scientific about ends that are splitting. And I wish you a happy birthday. We've had a fun year. I've used Twist for the last year now that they've been around. I originally did a first impression side-by-side -side comparison, testing it against another drugstore brand. 
And now we've incorporated so many of the twist hair products in my routines, my cease routines, for my cousins, and even for my subscribers. In a video that I shared curating hair routines for my subscribers with low, medium, and high porosity hairs. So we've shared lots of different routines, and if you want to see any of the other videos that we've shared using twist products, I'll put them in the description box below so you can watch them next. Maybe see what other products you want to add to your cart during this promotion, and I'll leave you with that. Actually, one more thing if you really like getting nitty gritty and scientific, because split ends have a technical term and it is a tongue twister. A split end is actually called trichaptolosis. 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 How many times can you say trichaptolosis fast? Let me know below. I want to know. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. I love you for it. And make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more where these came from. Thank you so much for watching. I am out. Peace. Yeah, you know she's back. <laughs> I was sick. That was gross. Okay. Activate. That's gonna gain me a few years for sure. No, that's superstitions and this is science. I can have an umbrella on inside all day, every day. I shouldn't be doing this. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I'm just trying to do it like Tara. Tara Bong. What is this other thing? Oh my! How do I do? A scientific nerdy, nerdy, nerdy. I'm not trying to be stereotypical. I'm just trying to be what I am in my brain as a scientific. Um, well, apparently she's country. Stop hitting my background. <gasps> my wall. The bad luck has already started. <laughs> Fire! I'm on fire. I'm taking my pants off. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know! Oh, that's better. I can feel a breeze. Let's get back to being scientific. Where was I? But specifically, water penetration. That was uncalled for. <laughs> but it's the penetration. Mel! Holy spirit, activate. Holy science, activate. Hank Green and Bill Nye. Hi! They're not watching. Why am I like doing interpretive dance? Without interpretive pants. Trichaptolosis, <laughs> trichaptolosis, 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 trichaptolosis. I can do it. But Amanda, I'm filming. Oh, Amanda, I'm, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say hello. I'll, I'll call you back. Hey, bye. I love you. Say hi to everybody. Bye. I love you. Oh, thanks for watching. We love you.